clap. Yo. Hey, hey, everyone! Sheesh! Alright, so I'll be doing my 11th micro noodling using Banisher 2.0, and this is the closer look. And by the way, everyone, I will also show my before and after pictures. When I started using this tool, which is the Derma Stamp or the Banisher 2.0. And by the way, everyone, this is my 7th day from my last micro needling session. Yes, you heard it right. Uh, this is my 7th day because I am doing it every week. Since I hasn't yet started with my TCA cross, I am doing my micro needling every week. And for those people who are waiting for me to do my another TCA cross session, don't worry everyone since my skin is getting better now. I have already scheduled my next TCA cross session. So for now, let's discuss my micro needling experience using the Banisher 2.0. Alright, so let's start with my frequently asked question about this tool. Most of my viewers asking me if you will feel any pain while doing the procedure or while using the tool. Alright, so as you can see in the video, I am crying so it hurts. Char. No, I'm just kidding. Alright everyone, actually it really depends on your pain tolerance. But since the tool only has 0.5mm needles, it will be really painless especially on the area of our face which has really thick skin like our cheeks. But on those area that has a thinner skin like our forehead and upper lip, you will feel a very little pain but really depends on your pain tolerance because me, it's very tolerable for me. Alright, so let's move on. Sure. Alright, so I'm also receiving questions like which is more effective, um, the derma pen or what do you call that? Yeah, derma pen or this tool which is derma stamp. Alright, my honest answer to this because I also tried a uh, derma pen before and I still have one actually but I am not using it. Sure. Alright, so let's discuss first a uh, derma pen. Actually, derma pen is not advisable or recommended for us to use at home but what i like about it is that you can adjust the length of the needles depending on your targeted type of acne scars or how deep is your acne scars is and one more good thing about it for me is that you just need to purchase once the device and then you just need to only dispose the needles and then buy another all right everyone so that are the good things that i can say about derma pen all right so let's discuss now the derma stamp actually the number one thing that i like about the derma stamp is it's not scary to use unlike the derma pen when i first use it i'm so scared and the number two is i don't need to use numbing cream because it's painless or the pain is very tolerable and then number three it's safe and recommended or advisable to be used at home for me they're both effective it's just that the derma pen is really to be used by professionals or dermatologists but if you are on a budget the best option is to use derma stamp especially the banisher 2.0 all right, so now I'll be showing my before pictures. All right, everyone. So this is my skin looks before I started using the Banisher 2.0. All right, and then this is how my skin looks after two months of using the Banisher 2.02. All right, everyone, I won't say anything, but if you want to try the Banisher tool, you may use my discount code MARS to get $5 off for orders $50 above. And the link is on the description box. All right, so that's it, everyone. Thank you, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!